<laughs> I mean, <laughs> when I wrote this song out of all the places that I imagined I'd be. What's up? We're here with uh with Nate. Nasty Nate. Nasty Nate hey, what's Ruiz. Up? What's up? What's up, boy? I'm gonna watch some what's freaks. Building up. Uh, did he he wrote this? He he or he's like covering this right now? Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. covering it. I guess we missed the, the preamble where he, he mispronounces it a bunch of times, but. <laughs> you know, now that so I think cheesy. Of it, Audio Slave doesn't have a singer. Hmm. We got one in the house. I, I would love, I would, I would, I would do that gig. <laughs> you should have a rotating cast of people. <laughs> one of those bands, like Journey. Or uh, Austin does that. Well, I've been watching while you he comes been in the half a bar. Early. I've been drinking <laughs> life, but you've been nauseous. Can we do the opening scream so again, please? Absolutely. Yeah. Wait, is, this one of you? is this one of you guys? Is this no. Like him right now? This is this, this is, is him. him. This is him. <laughs> That's so good, man. I've heard the, I've heard this guy on I've heard this guy on the stream before. It's like a sound He's alert, great, isn't it? Or a sub sound? It used to be a uh, sound alert. Yeah, it was a sound alert. <laughs> it would be a bad sub sound. Yeah. <laughs> DMCA, bro. It'd be really good. Well, I've been watching while you've been coughing. I've been drinking well, lies, but you've been nauseous. What I really love about this one is uh, he clearly yeah. hasn't heard the song before. <laughs> <laughs> or at least he hasn't heard it enough to like know the rhythm to like how the vocals go. Come on, like save it, save just, yourself. They have what? a hard time getting the melody and the rhythm and stuff. I have a hard time with lyrics. Like I, I hear a song and I don't know any of the lyrics, but I know yeah. all the vocal melodies and the phrase. I mean, he's a guy singing on YouTube. There's a high chance he doesn't know anything about the song. But he was super into Chris Cornell. After yeah. Chris Cornell died, he got that vinyl copy of Chris Cornell's greatest hits, which is like four Soundgarden songs and Audio Slave and like the one he did with Timbaland and all that shit. Save yourself. Take it out of me, yeah. Go on and save yourself and take it out of me. Yeah. It was bizarre because it was a very similar trajectory I was on yeah. when I was like 13. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I was really into grunge. Yeah. Yeah. I had that, yeah, I had that phase Save too where that was really the Nirvana and Drown the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And then I moved on to Radiohead. The bottom, kind of where you had to crawl on my skin. Yeah, Radiohead was like after that for me, like age 15. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was 15. Yeah, I was like, my cool. Bloody Valentine. Save yourself. Yeah. They, oh, yeah, I was like Pearl Jam, then Weezer, then Radiohead, and then like Pop Punk. That was Alice in Chains for me. If I got, I forget what the grades had to be, but I, I achieved it. And so in grade seven, my parents bought me the uh, Alice in Chains Music Bank box set. It was a big deal for me. I was really into the Backstreet Boys when I was like seven. Oh yeah. Or Instinct, as I like to call them. Uh, Backstreet Boys had some great tracks. Oh, yeah, I want it that way. It's amazing. Good. Yeah. Go on. Uh, Shape of Your yeah. Heart. That was a later That's one. That's a great one. I remember I used, to, I used to fall Take asleep listening to the Backstreet Boys CD every yeah. night, and I'd always fantasize about the girl I had a crush on coming over to my house and chasing me around my yard. <laughs> and then, like, a year later, my doorbell rang, and she was there, and then she chased me around my yard. And I don't Whoa. Think I Why did she chase you? I don't know if she had a crush trying on to me. kill him. Right, yeah, she just wanted to, she wanted to get me. I just ran away. I was so happy. And then I found out years later, she obviously had a crush on me, and she's a fucking smoke show. What? Where, where's she at now? She's married to some weird guy. Uh, probably back in Ohio. Somewhere. Let's get him. Nate, you should start making political parody songs. <laughs> so this is Trump. It's yeah. It's, it's Alan Trump. as Trump as. It's Alan as Trump Screaming in Jay blackface Hawk. as Screaming Jay Hawkins. 
Yes. Mm-hmm. So I guess you know what we should be mad at Trump for doing blackface there. <laughs> Sorry, Alan. <laughs> like he puts. Oh, so this is great. <laughs> oh, he doxed himself. Yeah. Or she doxed herself, I guess. <clears throat> Give me a second, I'll really get my story straight. Sick of all your bullcrap and your unnecessary hate. You think you all are right when you talk crap about the gays, but we all know you all are wrong. You lie in so many ways. I think there's something up with her. So much for the tolerant left. <laughs> but they're not allowed to have beliefs. <laughs> they eat crap. This fear of gays, it's too strong. So Yeah. It means that you're gay. You are gay. I mean when I wrote this song out of all the places that I imagined I'd be. It's okay. Right here. Sitting in that basement. Listening to this was never... I would have never dreamt this up. You would benefit from the drums. Life can take you surprising places. Mm-hmm. I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. Grinded to be here. We're all proud of you. <laughs> I'm for this view in the basement. <laughs> Is the Westboro Baptist Church still doing their thing? Uh, you don't hear I about them so. as much, but I think they still do. But I think what well, the guy died a few years ago. Oh right. Yeah, yeah Fred of, Phelps. His kids are still doing it. Yeah, but they were. It's like not as. Yeah, prominent. it's. It was more of a children. thing. Yeah. Like, what, early Obama, Bush era? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because then now the gay it's marriage is legal. Out. They don't really. Yeah, people aren't then, focused on that as much. Or evangelicals. <clears throat> and they're not like they're not Trump aligned because they used to protest veteran funerals. Yeah, too. they <laughs> think soldiers are bad too and are all in hell. So it's like, ah, well, nobody likes you. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be some sort of scam where they sue people. Yeah, because they, yeah. they, they goad people into, like, becoming physical with them or whatever, and then... Yeah. Of course. That's all the shit is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A scam. It's like it's a Andy No. Yeah. Has been born of God and knows God. Oh, someone Anyone poured milkshake all my head. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd eat it, brother. You're so I'm jealous, actually. Yeah, which people are I was killed by a liquid. <laughs> That's the dream. Can milkshakes rain down on you? This person's heart in the right place. Not that we have mm-hmm. God, but Unsure of the delivery, but doing their best. It's better than the original. Beloved, so us. We also very nasty, Tom. What? Romans five and eight. He didn't hear. He doesn't pay attention. <laughs> Christ died for us. I'm, I'm just blown away by this um, bridge. <laughs> <laughs> you never thought to put this in? <laughs> yeah. Why didn't you have Bible quotes in there? Yeah. yeah. Three minute long <clears throat> breakdown with Bible quotes, spoken word. And why didn't you title the song You Are Gay? <laughs> <laughs> well, technically it's titled. Oh, no, it is there. Or no, yeah. it it's just We Are Young Parody Anti Westboro Baptist Church. It's very funny. <laughs> I don't know if this is the key of the song. It's, I always feel like these pe- like anybody that does a parody like has to do it like an octave low. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, we'll see if anybody hits it today, because I got a couple in the, in the pipelines. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I don't know why you <laughs> This one was actually submitted to us by uh, a patron. <clears throat> awesome. Wow. That's why we don't hear about the Westboro Baptist Church anymore. 
They saw that and they all died. <laughs> Give me a second, I. I need to get my life. I mean, this is an octave down. The minute I saw he's a foot shorter than everyone around him, I, I got on his side. <laughs> this guy's good. I couldn't pay my rent, and all I want to do is end this recession. Hey, don't worry, it'll be okay. Struggle wing, we've got some monetary policy. Fiscal policy. When did this come out? <laughs> yes. A while ago. Yeah. What, well, this song came out... This song came out like 2010? Uh, and this parody came out seven years later, in 2017. No way. Yeah. Yeah, so like, what are they talking about? Were we, in a rece were we in a recession in 2017? Not really. Bull market. Trump bringing jobs back. Yeah, he brought all the jobs back. We were good. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's. We the are young. We are unemployed. Doesn't really work. Maybe it was uploaded into that. Oh, this was for a school project. Yeah, it? clearly. I, 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 as soon as I saw the guys holding up fiscal policy, that's what I was like, yeah, this is a school. They got a B on this, I'm sure. <laughs> I guess I figured it was, but it was from way back when, when there was actually a recession. So I guess they were yeah. like doing a unit on past recession, <clears throat> and they thought, why not do a song from 2007, 2008? Well, you don't like the song, Alex? I got Alex? a feeling. I got a feeling it's the perfect <laughs> that's recession. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, great, great recession song. Well, actually, that song, well, I guess that's because it pulls you out of a recession. You feel good. That's right. They're like Lupe Fiasco or something. Well, I can't imagine they're listening to Lupe Fiasco or Black Eyed Peas. The fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> they they look like they listen to fun. <laughs> <laughs> You look down into that crowd of people at a concert. <laughs> I know, I've seen these guys a hundred times. Indian? <laughs> With the colored glasses, too. <laughs> wow, one dollar any size. Yeah, talk about the recession. What are you talking about? Which one is just for to it. When we don't need jobs any longer, it's why did he just throw a cassette tape and a Walkman into the yard? <laughs> you don't need those anymore. We have iPhones. <laughs> Alright, we're back. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, nice. It's a very small pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not even worth ordering. Fuck, I wish I never, I wish it wasn't a double chorus. Try <laughs> <laughs> running the wrong side of the road. <laughs> I'll have some fun, I get it. spoken that they live in a super rich neighborhood. <laughs> so, like, they don't have to worry about this. Well, his life got saved after he got fired from Trader Joe's when he went to work for Papa John's Pizza. <laughs> cool. <laughs> you put all this work into doing this video, but you couldn't get a haircut? Let me tell you, it gets better. Arcade Matt. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like Arcade Matt, Randy, Rainbow. <laughs> what is he hiding on his necklace? Yeah, I want to see it. I can't see it in any of the pictures. Well, they'll, uh, there's going to be a few more of them popping up in a minute here, so... Okay, well, if he doesn't show us, I'm just assuming it's a swastika. <laughs> <laughs> 
The Lion King is a pretty far right movie if you pay attention to it. <laughs> if you get rid of the king, everybody starves to death. If you let the hyenas join. <laughs> You let them take over. <laughs> they can live in a separate neighborhood. But They're they parasites. <laughs> they can't be in our neighborhood eating the same food from the same water fountains. But it's not just get rid of the king. It's get rid of the king and get a bad king. Now that Joe, See, that's what happened mm -hmm. in the last four years. But now we have a good king back in place. Joe Biden. That's right. Decency fine. is back. Yeah. Back to the old time politics. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> this reminds me of a guy uh, in my high school. There wasn't I wasn't in high school with him at the time, but he went to the high school that I went to the middle school at. And I was aware of him and he made this elaborate video where he went through the high school and did a version of an early Taylor Swift song where he replaced it with her name and sang it to her. <laughs> it was about like asking her on a date. And he was very obviously gay. <laughs> he was openly gay now, but that was like right on the cusp of like when you could just be like, I'm gay and I stand the celebrity. <laughs> and he had to be like, I want to go out on a date with her. <laughs> and it was like I this. Just, I just want to date you though. <laughs> I love you, but in a sexual way. <laughs> I would play that, but it would be like, yeah. it would dox me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Too close to home. It would be in my high school. Yeah. What the fuck am I doing in this song? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that was even part of it. A little bait and switch. <laughs> It's an epic mashup. Yeah, uh, <laughs> they did. They did the, the, the Moulin Rouge. Um, I'm just gonna talk shit about it. I don't fuck care. <laughs> but we are young is in the Moulin Rouge musical, huge hit, and I went and saw it. And it's just, it sounds like fucking shit. It sounds exactly like this. <laughs> It's like it's like twenty different songs from like it's like it's, it's probably these three songs that are like together, but they did it with every song in the Moulin Rouge show is like like three or four contemporary songs just like smashed together uh -huh. that's supposed to fit in with the story of Moulin Rouge, and it's so fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's so good at music he can do three at once. Uglypeople.com. <laughs> this is an Illuminator video. Yeah. <laughs> Funnythings.com. How did this kid find these videos or Zombie these uh, images? Right. This kid was born in like 2012. Why are these in here? I don't these know. Dial-up <laughs> images. These are like Benny Johnson memes. Yeah. <laughs> this i don't know the lyrics are nasty the images like what is this where do you find these images funny.com like, straight up from 1996. like how are these com these images still up proceed what is that? I can't even read what website that is at the bottom. Like every hard drive these were on should be in a fun What's amazing is these people know more about recording than I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good picture. Look at that. Nasty. You should put in the video the chimp fucking the frog. <laughs> Are we allowed to watch those on Patreon? 
Uh, probably. I, not. I, I, I don't know why we necessarily want to, to, but you can. <laughs> Alex, did the how troll happy face. those shapes are when the frog that wanders into the cage. Awesome. Alex, did the the Jason Ellis chasing cars video always have fucking nineteen thousand views? Look at these or did we do that? I don't think so. <laughs> I remember that being pretty uh, pretty low. Yeah. Nineteenth. What are the comments? Look like? Yeah, that's what I'm looking at now. <laughs> Wait a minute. What happened? It only has six comments. And a couple of them are him and his friends, and then yeah. Dude, how did you get Justin Trudeau to come to your party nine months ago? Um, it looked like uh, yeah. H1N1Jokes.com. <laughs> what a website! That's so sick. It actually it might have had that before. Yeah, maybe. I'm looking at the videos, and since that was 14 years ago. Yeah, 14 years ago was a weird. That was a really popular song. I was hoping so this one would be about Star Wars because like that was the thumb. That. Yeah. The other ones have a thousand or so. <laughs> McOwned. <laughs> Jesus. No, that's just wrong. What is this? And it just oh, it's over. Jim Jab Media Company was founded in 1999 by Evan and Greg Sporidius. Jib Jab specialized in creating custom electronic greeting cards for every occasion. They gained no. worldwide attention when they started to make entertaining cartoons online. And Other way around. They didn't make the greeting like cards Sony, until after Nugget, the videos. And Disney. Now for the tune if you're going to make the Jib Jab explain it, you better get this shit right. <laughs> In 2005, Jib Jab released a video called 205, which was a musical review of the year 2005. Mm -hmm. This was set to song to the songs Old Lang Syne and Turkey in the Straw, and sung by a fictional George W. Bush. I wish they'd Wait, play they some of it. W. Bush? Due to its popularity, <laughs> this started a tradition that would last for nine more years. Oh, this is like the time of like Crazy Frog where I was just not online. I didn't know what was happening in the world at all. <laughs> so the, I'm like learning all about Jib Jab right now. This is great then. It was one of the few things that broke through. Like no one was online, but every few years there would be a video that everybody saw. Yeah. Even if they weren't online. Like Evolution of Dance. In the Jib Jab 2004. Well, Jib Jab, like, because people would email it to you. So it would be someone like... Someone would be like, oh, you got to check out this video. And then to be like compressed in an email and you just click it and watch it. Be like, oh, this is so funny. Let me share it to like 15 other people. I've never seen any of this stuff before. And then we got to play this land then. Because then when like Facebook became a thing, people could make their own jib jabs and like do like postcards and send it. Mm -hmm. So people would be like, oh, look, I did. I used your picture from your page to do a jib jab. <laughs> Yeah, yeah no, but let, let, let's 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 wrap up. Uh, ah, fuck it, we can go back to him. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> this land is your land. This land is my land. I'm a Texas tiger. You're a liberal wiener. I'm a great crusader. You're a Herman Munster. This land. There was a whole year where if you had people over at your house, one of them would show you this video. Yeah. <laughs> like, I probably watched this with yes. my grandparents 12 times. Yeah. <laughs> and by myself hundreds of times. <laughs> and I made a cover of it. You have more waffles. Then a house of pancakes. You offer flip flops. I offer tax mm -hmm. breaks. A waffler. You're a UN <laughs> pussy. And yes, it's true that I kick ass. Ha! This land. I'm not used to hearing the actual version because I've just like hold, heard our chopped and screwed ones so much. Sometimes a brain can come in quite handy, but it's not gonna help you because I want free purple hearts. This land will surely vote for me.
You're a liberal sissy. Dean Spoon. When we had, uh, when I, I studied telecommunications, we had a, a lesson on audio and the importance of uh, making sure, like, you monitor the microphones to make sure the talent doesn't embarrass themselves. And the John, the John Edwards thing, or the, the whatever, Howard Dean thing is, like, like the thing we Oh, yeah. Because it's like, yeah, that, that, like, especially at that time, nobody was used to those, like, hot mic things, so, like, it wasn't really that big of a deal. It wasn't that weird. Just everybody was freaked out because they'd never heard a recording like that yeah. before. Yeah. <laughs> it gets overstated how much it was that. Like, he wasn't going to win anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, because he just won. Because he was right? anti war. Yeah. Oh, and Dick Cheney, too. So here's a here's a song that uh, I mean you'll figure it out. Wait, who's Carless Mills? Oh no. When I kick his called his mom, right? It might be his cousin. His mom was a different name. It might be his nephew or Yeah, he lives with his with his fucking brother-in-law or something as well, right? But it's only him singing, so well he wrote out the lyrics. Yeah. Of the future, or a, I hope a child wrote this for sure. <laughs> him. Well, Nate, you've been getting into Star Wars, right? Uh, I know uh, episode three. Yeah. <laughs> you watched that with Drew, right? Yeah, that's the only one I've watched. Uh, you know Baby Yoda? Thought, yeah, I don't know Baby Yoda. Um, I know episode three, four, and five. Okay. I see six, I, I, man. I think it's good. I, like, Star Wars is cool. Fun adventure movies. Yeah. They're fine. He was. The pod race, that was cool. I never got the... I had that one too. On, I saw I saw Phantom Menace I think four times in theaters because I was like in third grade when it came out. I feel like I was a I went about to a boy it. who becomes cool. I went to it the day it came out and then like other people invited me like three other times. So I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> And I remember my dad and brother going to it, and it was going to be my, like, fifth time, and I said no, so I went to see a movie with my mom and sister, and it was Runaway Bride. Come on, Jedi, let's go get them. Oh, who was in Runaway Bride? See, I know, like, those movies for sure. Uh, Richard Gere and uh, Julia Roberts. That's why I call it Runaway yeah. Gerbil. <laughs> and Christopher Maloney. Come on, Jedi, let's go get them. Oh, sick, Christopher Maloney. Yeah. Jedi Knight. And evil, He's wait, the guy uh, she's uh, engaged to before and the forces favor she goes the with Richard Gere. When I kick and spin, <coughs> oh, of the future, the what they start. mean or not sure. Come on, Jedi, let's go get know. him. Uh, I don't know. We're about to get stuck. Someone just made it up and it's stuck. Yeah, probably. Marilyn Manson, the rim. Or the cum uh, and uh, Stewart yeah. getting his stomach cum from cum. Yeah, the cum is with John. For us, it was New Kids in the Block that had. Oh, the that's grim. It says dad, dude. Oh, oh that's. Oh, sucks. no. Fuck. Fuck. When did his dad die, though? Hi. Is his dad watching? Here we go. Holy shit. <laughs> it's very funny to parody. <laughs> you can really find anything on YouTube, can't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When I fall out a window. <laughs> there aren't enough parodies of this. I would hope, I was hoping there would be like. There's really quite a few. Parodies. I feel like I've made some like before, just like amongst friends. Yeah. Oh, I, I feel like it's not, it's on not this something... stream. I've made at least ten. <laughs> it's probably something most people wouldn't want out there in public, <laughs> like parodying <laughs> the song about the dead kid. <laughs> Back in 2014, I used this song in a, a shit video, like a shit post video I made on the competitive Halo forums, asking <laughs> the community manager of uh, 343 to add in a button layout that I could use. For, <laughs> and uh, I ended up uh, seeing him at a tournament, and I was like, hey man, and I was like, I hope he's liked my video. And he told me that he like shared it with everybody in the office, and thought it was really funny. <laughs> but basically, I was like apologizing that everybody was so mean to him since the Master Chief collection rollout was so bad. And then I did like a bait and switch, and at the end, I was like, oh, by the way, can you give me a button layout here? 
and uh, so hard to I was a legend on the forums for a couple of days. I was one of the top up voted. Let's fucking go. <laughs> this isn't really bad taste. Yeah. <laughs> like the fact that it's trying to be serious is worse than if they yeah. just made it about dead babies. At least he doesn't sound that bad, though. All right, he sounds kind of bad. <laughs> he sounds great to me. Jesus. Oh. What the hell? This is, this is originally Connor Clapton killed. Er, Connor Clapton killed himself because his dad sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but they had to change it. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Yes! <laughs> when I turn 57. God. <laughs> <laughs> It's such a good yes. taste. <laughs> oh no, but wait. Yeah, he plays guitar on this video a lot. He's got the chords right. You got that like diminished or whatever it is. I'm fifty seven. He looks like old Matt Iglesias. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the exact glasses and the hairstyle and the mustache. <laughs> the button-up shirt. Now that I'm well, who wouldn't want to look like Matt Iglesias? Will you read my substack? You still help me stand. <laughs> now that I'm 57. Got a lot of mugs behind him. Oh no, I fear. I think they're all different cities. What if they're like that the Starbucks? Place? Yeah, probably. But I'm okay if you're still here at 50. This guy's pretty good. Yeah. The concept is not great. Yeah. We don't know <laughs> if he's actually playing guitar, though, either. It could be like you're looking your, down. Uh, your friend. And it's just pretending to. <laughs> Checking it out. Time can break your heart. What about, what about this one? 7-Eleven. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> He's so tan. The other guy's so pale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't they live in the same place? <laughs> the guy on the right absorbs all the sun. The guy the yeah, that guy stands in front of the other guy. <laughs> I mean, what else could say? say? <laughs> God damn it. Oh no. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Would you see my heart? Nailed it. If I go to the nether. The um the nether. Can you see nether, yeah. my name? If I travel further, <laughs> this is so fucking weird. Yeah. We must go far. Oh, there's one about Diablo. Nice. To find blaze rocks. I always find it odd when like adults make like, Minecraft parody songs. Yeah. <laughs> You get, well, a lot of views. get a lot of views. I get it. Why? But Why like, is, doesn't he say tears in Minecraft? It's called tears in Minecraft, and he doesn't say that <laughs> in the line. 
He says because... something else that doesn't rhyme with what. Because uh... he'd on. have to put Tears and Nether in the title. He wants to put yeah. Minecraft in the title. Just make it Tears in Minecraft. <laughs> tears in Minecraft. It works. Yeah, because aside from us, the only people watching these songs are like our children. Yeah. No one, no 11 year old is like, ah, oh, Tears in Heaven is my favorite song. <laughs> right. They got this great Minecraft thing. I, uh, my dad it. used to play Clapton when I was growing up. It was the fucking worst thing ever. So, maybe. <laughs> I have a conspiracy theory that everything good Eric Clapton ever did was ghostwritten by George Harrison. <laughs> Tears of Heaven, I, Tears of Heaven, I think, is a decent song. It was, yeah, it was mostly not him. It was, uh, what's his name? Will something. <laughs> It was the guy who wrote My Heart Will Go On. Fuck, I don't even know who that is. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure the Titanic song. Clapton doesn't write good songs. No. He just knows the pentatonic scale. Yeah, he just does like a dumb solo on everything. Oh, so yeah, it's a fun parody. This is we are young it, in Hebrew. I, I didn't recognize it. I don't know why. That's the way it was supposed to be sung. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I know it's a guttural sort of language, but you don't have to sing like this. I was gonna, like, why? What? Why would you film this and put this on on the internet? Look at. Especially when you look like this. <laughs> What's with the clothespins painted on the wall? Couldn't tell you. Yeah. Yeah, there's one of them that's painted on the wall, and then there's one that's on like a, like a picture? transparent yeah. slide. That's oh, yeah. That's... And it's the same picture. It's smaller. I assume also, he's the wall like... is made to look like the sky. Yeah. I assume he drew that and like he painted it on and <laughs> What is he doing? I don't Is there a point to this? Is is this <laughs> the look of shade that Nate just gave? <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I, I like I could I, at the height of all this stuff like all like people would send me everything <laughs> like people I knew like watch my kids singing to your song and stuff like that and I, I would just like never watch it and just like oh that was, that's so cute um, now and we're now you guys are making me watch the worst <laughs> things you can find the worst <laughs> you're welcome we love you It would really suck to see people dressed up like us, like riffing over a Robozoid video or something. <laughs> In fairness. <laughs> Pretty bad at lip syncing, I gotta say. What are these people talking about? This uh, one's about Diablo 3. There was an error in the game Diablo 3, which came out when? 2006? <laughs> 2011, 2012? A pretty old game. Yeah. A very specific thing to get mad about and a weird song to pick. A horrible song to pick. <laughs> Again, it's about his dead kid. <laughs> You're just like, what if I. <laughs> uh, how many yeah, views? If you you're going to make light of it, make light of it. Uh, yeah. But you can't go halfway. No. 17,000. 17,000 people. Is that good? Yeah. For this, I guess, yeah. Yeah. For this, I would say yes. I mean, it probably didn't... Part of it is that she's a gamer. Since, like, yeah. three months after the game came out. Yeah. Wait, was it? Where's this is from? This is from, like, 2012. 
2012. Oh, yeah, 2012. So, like, yeah, so I think the game came out in 2012 or so. It was probably a big deal that the game was all buggy, and that's where yeah. I guess I assumed it was more recent because of uh, it was widescreen. Oh, here, there's an IGN watermark in the bottom right. Oh, from the video. Yeah. The video game. What I forgot that today? there were people back then who knew how to use their computer. <laughs> we all we, we all watch guys who still use four by three webcams. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was good. That was great. Would you fuck my ass? <laughs> all right, well, that was two hours. Unless you guys have anything else you wanted to watch. <laughs> I mean, there, there, there's another "We Are Young" parody, but I feel bad now. Um, it's, so <laughs> it's called "We Are We'll Get Bummed." I've, I've accepted I'm my fate. Keep going. <laughs> Here, fuck it. That means either this or hanging out with my in-laws. So. <laughs> 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 hey, David, we haven't seen you. We haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to apologize if I've been so busy. <laughs> How much makeup could I possibly wear? <laughs> Does getting bummed mean getting fucked in the UK? I don't, yeah, it's getting uh, butt fucked. <laughs> My ring piece? <laughs> uh, I would assume your asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why not we, we'll drink cum? <laughs> Because Alex, they're not that clever. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, Tom, I want you to write the official parody, okay? Okay. <laughs> the official Nehru sponsor. <laughs> hey, we got an official. We're doing. We're dropping you. Yeah. We're gonna do that for the next 24 hour stream while writing the official parody. <laughs> In 2021. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, 2010. <laughs> I've never heard get bummed or ring pieces. Either. Yeah. yeah I, know. I guess I'm not really in tune with the British gay community. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think they say it. Have fun. Look at the fonts. Tonight. Tonight. <laughs> so I guess this is Nate supposed to be singing this, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a get up kid shirt. That's a that's a vintage get up kid shirt. <laughs> Did you really say that? Yeah. Yeah, I did that. Okay. I wasn't married yet. So. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Ooh, Celtics. Oh, I wore a Rondo jersey on, baby. Where the fuck? Did you really hold that sign? <laughs> <laughs> we, I should have fucking. <sighs> you got, you got to make a takedown on that. That's copyright infringement, yeah. dude. Yeah, you got to sue that guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not fine. We're coming for his you ass. Send that to all your fans in Argentina and tell them go after this guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm waiting for the official, the official parody to drop. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then you're going to sue me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. Catch you uh, yeah, cool. next week. Okay. Yeah, Thank shoot. You. Thank you, Nate, for being yeah. on. Yeah. Thank you for having me, guys. I hope oh, that... um. I hope that all my my friends in Argentina now pay for the Patreon. Me too. Me too. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Love you. Bye-bye.